Hello everyone, so this is the second video in the series for Microsoft Project 2010. In the first video we talked about tasks, adding tasks, um, recurring tasks, adding days and things like that and also linking them. Um, in this video the main point will be about working with resources. However, before I get to resources I wanted to finish a few things uh, in relation to tasks. So say if I go to project, project information and instead of saying the project start date and I set say finish scheduled from the finish date so, and I can say that you know what finish it by the say 10th of May now let's see what will happen to the start and finish date when I click OK now as soon as I did that you see all the dates changed and it puts itself everything in place so that the project will finish by that date Okay. So that's the that's a neat little thing that if you wanted to just test something out, you can set it by starting date or you can just say I want to finish things by a particular date. And uh, one more button I wanted to point out is say for example I click on this job, I can click on the scroll to task. So what it does is it brings that task in the chart available to me. So I can click here and I can say scroll to task, so it just shows up there. So if you had lots of tasks, you can use this button to do that. You can also use the details button here. That starts to show up some information on the bottom. I'm just going to go back to project, project information, and I'll just set it back to start date, which was 1st April. And let's see, the dates will start to change again. And uh, I'm just going to double click on one of these jobs and under advanced there are some constraint types and there are some different types of constraints so we'll just talk about that briefly I'll come back to my PowerPoint here so in this there are constraint types like as late as possible so it says project forces tasks to start on the last date possible so the task ends no later than the end date so if I choose that constraint as late as possible and I choose a date that means that it will wait till the last moment to start the task to do it and then there is a finish no earlier than so that the project will make sure that the task finishes no sooner than the date you apply or finish no later than that is project will make sure that the task finishes no later than the date you have supplied and then the must start on or must finish on so you can set these type of dates to force uh, your task to get done at a certain time or a certain date and then the last one is start no earlier than that is projects make sure task starts no sooner than the supply date or start no later than that is project make sure that the task starts no later than the supplied date. So there are different types of constraint types that you can apply to it. Um, I'm not going to get into this part because as a project management class you'll most probably get to uh, work with this. The other thing is there is a thing called deadline and for this one say let's see let's pick something. Um, so this is the cleanup here which is the 16th so I can click on it and I can set a deadline for the 16th of April click OK and the deadline mark comes up you see that green thing there come back to task and under view there is also an option that allows me to see the timeline so that's the timeline that's showing up here starting to finish so now let's get to the part for resources and to I'm going to remove the timeline so I'm going to remove the timeline and from the task there is the scan chart button click on the drop down and we're going to come to the resource sheet now here is where we start typing our resources which is the painter, the laborer, now you can actually type the person's name or you can just keep it generic so if you were working in an office assistant or something like that so I can start adding things so say I wanted to add a first let me add me because I'm going to do some of the jobs 
and I'm going to do a work. So there are a couple of different types here, types, which are work, material, and cost. Work is where it's individuals, you know, hourly work and things like that. And I think I've got a PowerPoint slide for this, so let's bring that up. So work usually means people, like based on time. The material type is based on a unit of measurement, so it's like it could be per square feet or usually like for one tile, for example, or paper will be 10 cents a paper. Costs are incurred which are not dependent on amount of work or duration, so it's like a cab fare or a hotel stay. And these costs can be accrued, I think I've got the spelling wrong, accrued at either start of a task, end of a task, or prorated, which is distributed evenly over the life of the task. So as the task is going, it's being distributed. And that's the default, the prorated, which you could use other options. Come back. So me, um, at least for now, I'm not charging myself anything. But if you wanted, you could put something there so that you know if you were working somewhere, you would have been making, say, $30 an hour. So you can put that because that's the amount of money you not made that day. Uh, say I want to put somebody for styles installer, which will be work. And his standard rate is 55, and his overtime is, say, 75. Uh, I want to put a laborer, somebody I'm going to use to help the tiles guy and also work. And say his rate is 35, and overtime is 45. I'm using the tab keys. Uh, I want to put the one for tiles. Tiles will be material. And I'm going to put your standard rate will be, say, it's $25 a tile. Okay. So that this will be applied every time whenever the tiles are being installed. We'll tell them how many tiles will be used. And you see for the work, they have this 100%, 100%. That means they are available full time. If, for example, I had two people labor, I could make it 200%. So that would mean two people. Now, if I wanted, I could put like a, a cleaner, someone who's going to clean the place if I wanted to do that. But I'll show you another way of doing this. So now let's go and assign these resources to different tasks. So I'm going to come back to the Gantt chart, either from here or from there. And uh, let's see, just to try it out, uh, remove old tiles. So double click on it, and I can go to resources, click in the box, choose the laborer, and I'll click OK. Now that name shows up in the Gantt chart. If I double click on it again, and there is the cost. So that's his rate multiply by eight hours it's been applied okay. I can go to the install new tiles three days and I can say the main guy is this guy and I'll just do that for now I'll click OK and that guy is added I just wanted to bring uh, another topic that I talked about earlier about double click on it and I'm going to go to predecessors so I wanted to bring that under advanced we had that task type so I wanted to change this install new tiles to fixed work which will be effort driven and I click OK so it's set for three days right now so and it's starting on the 10th the next job starts on the 16th so I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to go to resources and I'm going to add the laborer as a resource okay and I click OK now you see it's been changed to one and a half days so it's reduced the job into half because I chose that and I can double click on it and I can go to advanced and I can change this back to fixed units remove the effort and I'll have to change this manually too because it had already changed it to three days. I'll double click on it and I want to under resources I want to add the tiles. So and I can say you know what I'm gonna put away 800 tiles. Click OK. I'll double click on it 
and there is the tiles price twenty thousand dollars and these are the other things okay. so now you can start seeing those information coming up in the Gantt chart now if I wanted to add a fixed cost like for cleanup instead of adding it through there I could just come here and click in the corner right click choose cost and there's this fixed cost line showed up now I can go to cleanup and say this person is going to charge me two hundred dollars a day uh, it doesn't matter how many hours it takes so I can go ahead and add that so now that is added say so yes to saving it so we've added the fixed cost and now on the top you can see the total cost so there it is and as you start adding stuff wherever things need to be done so level the floor this is going to be done by the laborer so I can add him click OK and the task is changing painting the wall I don't know if I've added a painter so I can go back and add it and then I can add them here so that's a good way to add the fixed cost if I want I can go back click here in the corner top right top left and then go to resource sheet and I can do the same thing I can highlight here I can right click and I can choose cost and there I can see all the cost associated with these individuals I can right click again and I can go back to entry now for some reason one of these guys had um, a problem during certain time they were going to go on a vacation or um, they were their prices changed so say for example the tiles guy if I double click on him and um, I can go to change working time and I can put an exception here say vacation this guy's on a vacation from uh, say first till the nine. So this would surely have an impact if he was scheduled to work. I think we would make it a little more. And I'll click OK and click OK. I just want to make sure I have the exceptions, details, uh, non-working. Yeah wanted to put that click OK click OK come back to the can chart let's see if I've got something there you see there the vacation time has been split the job got split into a couple of different days come back to resource sheet double click on the tiles installer change working time I can delete that and you can even change his work week time you know for example he was going to be working on Saturdays you can set that so this guy will be working on a Saturday so I can set to a specific working time for a Saturday so he'll be working so that would be a way to work with your deadlines you know where you can get somebody to work extra or you can start adding you can start adding more laborers so that would be another way of working with it so then he'll get paid for the overtime hours and things like that and you can add 200% of laborers uh, wherever you needed it and even from here you can actually click on the details options so it just provides you with details on the bottom you can click it again and you can add notes if you wanted to or you can just double click on it or you can go to information and you can add notes here so and you can add files and you can change it and make all kind of formatting things if you needed to do it okay the next thing I want to talk about is about the rate change so for example the laborer was $35 an hour and something happened during the project where his rate is changing so I can double click on it and I can I add an exception so in the cost I can click here and I can say you know what this guy may be around 9th of April his rates are going to forty dollars or and over time will be fifty dollars click OK so now those rates will apply after that date that I put in there so I can now come back to can chart oh I need to remove that thing again come back to resource sheet 
double click on tiles installer general change working time I need to delete this click OK and come back to GAN chart and this would have changed based on the rate, new rates that I've added for the laborer because he's working beyond that date so he'll have a different rates at different times so this pretty much covers up the resources so we've covered the two main topics for project entering task and adding resources and applying those resources to the task in the next videos we'll add some more interesting elements thank you for watching